What the expectation is, I know the way we work them. And I think what what it is 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 teaching the guys one as a coach, and then those guys taking that teaching and then implementing it on the field. We're gonna work them hard. We're gonna put them in positions where they're gonna fail sometimes, and it's them understanding the situation and then trying to triumph throughout throughout it. At the end of the day, it's about pushing ourselves, playing hard, playing fast, playing physical, all those little small things that add up to wins, and that's the goal to go win football games. And where, where do you feel? How do you feel personally being in I mean, year two of a full, you know, going into fall camp, kind of having this unit? Under your control. How, how do well, you feel? It's, it's, it's always better when they already know the teaching. So now it's not like having to lay a foundation all over again. Yeah. So because we have laid the foundation, now they know the drills already. So I could just say a drill, they step out there and know how to do it. That makes it easier. But also, we got to play a little bit more football. So we get that indie time where we focus in on the minute deals, where it's just pure D-line play, but being able to put the O-line out there, work the blocks, r block recognition, understanding when they're sitting back on their heels, it's pass, when they're leaning forward, it's run. All those little small things that can make us better on game day is where we take the next step. The foundation's laid, like I said, they understand how we work. Now it's understanding how we work, putting it together, and then getting to the game, and then going, going have some success in, in the games. Yeah, and I mean, last thing for me is this: this defense was given itself the nickname the Death Row defense. What are your thoughts on, on that? Just kind of give. Well, yeah, you know, Coach Pole came. You know, Coach Pole. We had a vote, and Coach Pole came up with it. Uh, tools, you know, being attached to some type of identity. I think, like for instance, we call ourselves Trench Mob. You give them something to buy into. And then they get behind it, and then they start they start moving in the right direction. It's something that you can continue to build on, and I think they take pride in it, and we work hard every day to, to uphold the name too. Thanks, coach. No problem. What's this experience kind of done for this year? Like bringing so many of these guys back, and does it, does it give expectation, or, or how do you kind of treat it? Yeah, I don't think it. Uh, to, for, not for me, as far as give expectation. What I what I think it does the best for us is that it helps with the younger guys. When you got some guys that, that red-shirted last year that didn't play much in games, the biggest thing that can help you is having veterans. So being able to bring back the guys that played for us at this position allows our younger guys to take the next, next step. So when the coach is not around, they can work with their big brothers. And that's probably been the biggest thing that came from it. I can say that Jalen Marshall and Marquise Gracial and Kyron Montgomery and Sam Williams have gotten better because of Josh Landry, Chris Williams, Rillis George, Darius Robinson, and Jaden Jernigan. So I would say that's my biggest takeaway as a coach. Those older guys being able to reach back and help the younger guys to bring them along in the system. Even though those the guys are competing, they're still brothers at the end of the day. But at the same time, those younger guys are competing some of the, for, for some of the playing time that those older guys have. No problem. When you hear, you know, guys like D. Rob coming back, and you know, so many veterans coming back this year, what's the excitement level for you as a coach to know that you have, you know, that continuity going into next year? Well, it's always good because again, you don't have to double teach. You don't have to. You don't, you don't have to. You, the foundation's laid already. The for again, the big, the biggest part is being, having those older guys help those younger guys. Uh, the future, the future is going to be based upon. Whether or not we can get our young guys to catch up to speed as the older guys. Well, when you got four or five older guys around in the room, you, your young guys are gonna take that big jump like this. You know, for fall camp for you, what's your biggest goal for your group going into this year's fall camp? We want to push them hard, uh, push them to compete. The goal is to go win football games, and we gotta uh, try to win football games daily. And this camp is gonna be real big on finding out who's gonna be the guys that's gonna go out there and play in, play in, and play out and do it for us, and who's gonna be able to do that at a high level. You know, as far as, you know, building that kind of camaraderie, I've been talking to a lot of guys about building that camaraderie during fall camp so you can block out the noise later. You know, Eli said he feels like nowadays more than ever fall camp is so important. How do you feel about the importance of those I think it's very important because, again, there's so much stuff going on right now. They got the cell phones in their hand all day. You got Twitter, Instagram, Facebook right at their access. Well, we're trying to block, block, block the noise out, not just when football season starts, but on a daily basis when we're trying to get them to learn the playbook. We're trying to get them to do the walkthroughs correctly do the team settings correctly. So for us, being able to, one, seclude ourselves a little bit, take ourselves away from the world so we can focus on football, but then being able to carry it over when the season gets here on game day. You know, D-Rob was saying at SEC Media Days, his biggest goal is, you know, to, to grow himself on film even more. What do you think is the biggest thing he can do this season? One is, one is continue to practice hard. I think where he took a big jump at last year was he did practice hard last year, harder than he did before, and then it showed up on game days. So long as he continues to every day chip away at that, practicing harder, trying to put put better drill, better better technique and fundamentals on film, then he'll get what he wants out of it. 
you know, last year obviously impressed a lot of people this defense did. Uh, how do you feel like you carry that over and have that same success into another season? Well, it's just a different defense. Yeah. We got a couple of some young guys that are going to be able to help us. We got some transfers that came in that are going to be able to help us. So I think we'll, in that sense, we'll be a little different. But again, we're, we're going to we're gonna find that out in fall count. Because right now we've been running around with t-shirts on. They've been, it looked good running up and down the stadium, but until they get out there and hit each other, we don't really know. Appreciate it, Tom. Thank yes, ma'am.